Welcome to our client podcast series. I'm Stephanie Wood. Jockey Lee Woodgate never saw herself as a trailblazer, despite being one of the first female jumps jockeys in Australia. She just saw herself as competing against other good riders. An accident in one of those races means that Lee's one of our Community Integration Program or CIP clients. So where did your love of riding come from? I've ridden my whole life. I, I just, I can remember riding my whole life. I grew up on a farm. We lived in town. We lived on 15 acres in town and we had various farms around the district and I've always ridden and I can just remember always riding. Yeah. It was, I was put on a horse before I could walk and led around. Probably I could ride before I could walk. How did you go from being a passionate horse rider and jumps rider and start doing it professionally? Eric Musgrove, I worked for him when I was 16 when I left school. He was a top show jump rider. So I worked with Eric to improve my show jumping skills. And he had steeplechases, was just starting with steeplechases. And I used to ride the steeplechases and fell in love with them. And I was down at Epsom one morning and Eric was short on riders and he said, Lee, would you school my horses over the jumps? Give it a go. And I said, yes. And he said, Lee, and I was doing it very well. And he said, you should be getting, you should get your jumps license. And I said, oh, okay. (laughs) So I did. And then I won my first three races and thought, how easy is this money? And then on my ninth ride, I had the fall. And uh, I was then to know what hard work was all about. And the leader, Kiss of Life, he had a good look at it, so did Winter Cole. Winter Cole's lost the rider there. The top is gone. How long were you in the coma for? 17 days. Yeah, out. They didn't, didn't know. And uh, then broke nearly every bone in my body. When you woke up, what was your prognosis? What were the doctors saying? Uh, they didn't know if I'd walk again or talk again. They didn't give me much hope. They didn't, they, I remember mum saying that they didn't know if I'd come out of the coma. They, because yeah. it was pretty, yeah. it was very bad, yeah. yeah. And the, the lungs being punctured, yeah, they didn't know if I'd ever wake up. Mm. I was just being sucked down into a deep, dark hole, a really deep, dark hole. Yeah. And that's when my grandfather came to me and he said, Lee, you'll have the fight of your life. He said, it won't be easy, but you'll get there. He'd been dead for 15 years. Different doctors would say, oh, this has been proven that. I said, yes, but you put a limit on my will, then you tell me how far I will go. When you can put a limit on my will, then you tell me how far I will go. But till then, you don't know. How long after your accident, when was the first time you got back on a horse? Probably... A year and a half, two years. Wow. How did you feel getting back on a horse? It was just like second nature. Not scared, nothing. It was just, yeah. it just felt wonderful. Yeah. And that's, that's why it's easy. it was easier than walking, learning to walk again, a lot easier. It just feels so natural. Horse riding's your passion, but you're getting into public speaking as well. I mean, you've got a, an amazing story to tell and you tell it well. Thank um, you. Um, do you no, enjoy the speaking? Love the speaking, and to children and and schools, you, you can see the the um, the awe on little children's faces. They they just love it, and I love if I can help one person, it makes what I've gone through work worthwhile or easier to bear. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but if you can inspire children and. Just to give them the hope never to give up and to find a way. Mm. You can find a way through anything. You know, you, you mightn't like the pathway you've got to take or c- certain aspects of it, yeah. but there's always a way. There is, you've just got to break things down. Yeah. My mum taught me that. She said, you've just got to break it back to the basics, Lee. Mm.